Hi, my name is Kim, and today we're going to talk about sugar maple trees. Welcome to McHenry County Conservation District's Wonders of the Wild. The sugar maple tree is known for a few different unique qualities. One of them is the brilliant orange fall color, and the other is the early springtime sap run. What do we get from the sap run? Maple syrup. So in the spring, when the nights are still below freezing and the days are getting to be maybe 40 and sunny, that's when the sap begins to flow up and down the tree. It's at that point that we can tap the tree. What that means is that we're drilling a hole into the tree and putting a small spile in to collect the sap. Now we're not hurting the tree because we only tap mature trees. If we tapped a small young one, then it would be a problem. It's sort of like the same thing with adults. You can donate blood, but kids obviously cannot. Why do we use the sugar maple tree to make maple syrup? Well, it's because it has the highest sugar content, 3%, which isn't very much. In fact, it still takes us 40 gallons of sap just to make one gallon of syrup, but that's still higher than other trees. You can tap several different types. All of the maples, including box elder and silver maple, and you can tap birch and hickory, but none of them are going to have that unique, sweet, and maple taste that pure maple syrup has. What we have to do to actually make the maple syrup once we've collected the sap is we take it back to our sugar house or our evaporator house, and we have a large piece of equipment called an evaporator. As you can tell, what it means you have to do is you have to cook the sap and evaporate out the water because you want to reduce the water and increase the sugar content in order to get syrup. All that goes into the making of pure maple syrup is pure maple sap. That's just it. As the water evaporates away, the sap becomes thicker until it becomes syrup. And as you cook a sugar, it becomes brown, so its color changes. We're not really totally sure how the uh, Native Americans in this area first discovered how to make maple syrup, but we do know that this area was used for maple syrup for hundreds and hundreds of years. Early, early Native Americans may have used a hollowed out log where they would put sap in and then have to transfer rocks from a hot fire over. Later, once they had copper and ceramic earthenware, they could put the sap directly into the fire. But it was the pioneers who brought iron, which was the strong metal that could make very specific tools. And that's where we get our drill. That's where they got iron kettles that they could put over the fire, huge, huge iron kettles that can be raised and lowered over the fire. And so the process has gotten a little bit easier through the years, but it's still that same process. Every year here at Coral Woods Conservation Area, the Conservation District puts on a Festival of the Sugar Maples. Usually the first two weekends in March, we are open from 10 until 3, and it's free to the public. And everybody that comes on the educational tour gets to taste some of our pure Coral Woods maple syrup at the end. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to respect your local animals and plants in the conservation areas, and watch for us next time on McHenry County Conservation District's Wonders of the Wild.